What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Back with my review for Sky Sports. The gloves are off. Anthony AJ Joshua versus Dylan White. And bravo. Shout out to the... This made me want to move back to England. Back to the UK. Shout out to the whole UK, Sky Sports, Johnny Nelson, all of them. Because I enjoy myself. Basically, the gloves are off is, is like HBO's face-off. It's just the UK Sky Sports version. And, um... I really like this. Like, honestly, HBO Face Off, a lot of them in recent memory haven't been that great. There's like the the build up and the tension. Like, you look at Koto versus Canelo, the Face Off, I thought it was pretty weak. The Triple G versus Lemieux one, I thought it was pretty weak. You know what I mean? And those were anticipated fights. But the Gloves Are Off special, link in the description in case you want to watch it. I just watched it on some YouTube channel. And. It was intense. It was it was good. I this was better than Cotto and Canelo face off, in my opinion. You had a different level of um there's some funny moments. I mean it wasn't intentionally funny, but it was funny to me. So um one thing, the main theme is Dylan White was just he was going off on everybody. He he was even like kind of going at Johnny Nelson, the host, the mediator, a little bit. He was like, You want me to answer the questions like you want me to answer them? It seems like you're trying to force an answer out of me. I mean, he was he was um just irate. Like every everything he just seemed like picking a fight with everybody. He was showing no respect to Anthony Joshua. Um at the end, Anthony Joshua tried to show some sportsmanship and shake his hand. He refused the handshake. He was like, I don't need to shake this guy's hand. I don't want to shake his hand. Um throughout the whole telecast, he was just really talking shit. At one point he said Anthony Joshua was like his third born kid. He's like, I, I tell him to go to bed and he plays on the iPad for a little bit. Just He was just disrespecting him. He was like, we can make it a street fight. We can have at it, kick up dust. I don't care. He said, if I catch Anthony Joshua in the streets, we can we can go at it. And he said, I'll iron him out. Like He was just talking greasy. He was talking a gang of shit. And it was a, it was a hell of a buildup because Dylan White wasn't holding any punches back. Um, Anthony Joshua, for the most part, he was being cool, calm, collected like he normally is. And Dylan was just trying to press his buttons, get under his skin. He called him fake. He said he let him borrow his trousers to the club. I don't know what that was about, but, um, he said they were never friends. Anthony Joshua, AJ was, like I said, he was like cool. And he was saying basically white talks too much and we'll see in the ring. And they talked a little bit about the amateur fight that they had where Dylan White beat him and AJ said there was his third fight he got the call on Thursday had the fight on Friday and we got we've seen the outcome if you've seen it if not watch it on YouTube it's a, it's uh definitely worth the watch but it was good because like I said you had a antagonist and you had a protagonist you had one guy who was more um civilized about the whole thing and then you had Dylan White was just like the villain and he was he was really trying to press the buttons of AJ get a rise out of him and I enjoyed it I thought it was I thought it was great um there was another part where I guess it was the part where Dylan White said if I seen him in the streets I'll I'll flatten him I'll iron him out and you look at the look on AJ's face he just looked like I want to kill this motherfucker right now he just looked so serious and just like he looked pissed and he was just holding back um, again, there was no handshake, very similar to Carl Frotch versus George Groves, another great one where the guys, you could tell there's bad blood. They don't like each other. Some fighters just don't like each other. And he clearly said that he says, oh, actually that's when AJ, um, was, he was sitting next to Dylan White and Dylan White says, I just don't like this guy. I don't care. I'm not shaking his hand after the fight. I don't like him. He's a scumbag. And then after you see um, AJ just look pissed, like, I want to kill this motherfucker right now. He's just grilling him. Just good stuff, man. Make sure you check out my tell of the tape, Anthony Joshua versus Dylan White. First look. Check that out on the channel. I'm really looking forward to this fight. This, I mean, I have no doubt in my mind this will be more action-packed than Klitschko Fury. I'd, I'd actually bet money on that. Um, again, you got two giants, 166, I believe, 164. Bad blood, a lot of shit talking. Um, he's calling him fake, calling Anthony Joshua fake. Uh, at one point, Johnny Nelson alluded to like, hey, are you jealous of his success and his fame and the attention he's getting? And basically the avenues that have opened up since Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn and Matchroom 
have um, worked on his career. And he's like, no, I'm not jealous. I just don't like him. So I'm looking forward to this. This is a good fight. It's a meaningful fight. And hopefully we see the winner of this fight fight. Maybe a Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. Um, just better competition. You know what I mean? Just keep going up through the ranks and stuff like that. Great heavyweight fight. This got me excited. December 12th. I'm looking forward to it. Um, let me know in the comment section if you think this will go a decision or someone getting knocked out or knocked down. Drop all that good stuff in the comment section. Link in the description in case you want to watch the face off. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.